Hello everyone, this is Quota giving you a shoutcast and game one in a series between Tho versus, I believe it's Fly. Yeah, Tho versus Fly, game one in a series. I have to recast this game, unfortunately, because there was some sound issues in the previous game. Some background noise that got picked up from my computer having ESPN open. Yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And I wanted to give a little bit of a shout out to my friend, um, or happy birthday, Lee, down in Australia. If you're wondering who put me up to this, um, most likely if you look at the girl next to you, she'll have an answer. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And yeah, I try not to do too many shout outs back when I was getting like 70, 80,000 views uh, per video. Um, my inbox was kind of flooded with them. But now that it's, uh, you know, the, the pros and the cons of having only 5,000 views per video is I can actually be a little bit more intimate and uh, with my viewers as well. And uh, you know, say hi to you guys. Now, let's see what's going to be happening here. Most likely, well, I know it is a Blade Master versus Archmage matchup. No big surprise there. This was taken from IET 2014. Another tournament coming out, I believe, of China. If I am wrong, I apologize. Everything is in Chinese on the website that I download all of my replays from. So it makes getting news rather difficult. Now, we are going to be going into a Blade Master versus an Archmage matchup. We all know this matchup pretty well. Any human player will tell you the Blade Master is absolutely broken, and any Orc player will tell you the Archmage is absolutely broken as well, because they and they both lead their armies in very, very different ways. The Blade Master is the main DPS coming in from the Orc army, while everyone else there is to support it. The Torin, uh, Torin Chieftain or Shadow Hunter, the Raiders the spirit link with the spirit walkers all of that is to support and maintain the dps of the blade master the archmage leads it in a slightly different way that brilliance aura makes casters so powerful in this matchup that it kind of doesn't make sense not to use sorceress especially when sorceress reduces the amount of major damage that the blade master is able to do now let's come back around. Blade Master picking up a Ring of Protection plus two. Not necessarily the best item for him, but this was always something that I wondered. Does selling the Ring of Protection that early, getting that extra 37 gold or whatever, really that helpful? Or should you hold on to it for a little while longer and then, uh, and then sell it when you are getting closer to the maximum number of items you have. That Blade Master would always like more hit points as the Archmage is now being very aggressive. You can see that the Archmage coming in from Tho is not opening up with that Militia clear of the Ogre Magi creep camp down over here on the bottom left hand side of the map, meaning he is not going for a fast expansion. Coming back around, the Archmage and the Blade Master are going into a little bit of a heads up match here, back and forth, as the Blade Master wants to take down the Archmage. Meanwhile, the Archmage doesn't want to get swiped by the Blade of the Blade Master, but the Archmage does get to level 2 during that time with the help of long distance militia creeping. Archmage now comes down and it looks like the Voodoo Lounge will get taken down here. That Voodoo Lounge very, very vulnerable while it's being constructed. Light armor making it just absolutely fall apart to the water gun splashes of that water elemental. Meanwhile, back over here, the Blade Master still running around, did get a little bit of experience and it looks like Tho is just trying to be aggressive. If he is able to perhaps deny or delay any sort of buildings, that would be very important. You can see Fly going for that war mill. He needs the option of going for demolishers if his opponent, though, tries to tower him. You can see that the lumber mill is already going down, so towers are a definite, definite possibility. Now... Demolishers are always one of those things where you wonder why, hey, why don't you build demolishers just in case your opponent is going to um, tower you? Nine times out of ten in this matchup on this map, we will see some sort of tower attempt. 
the reason why you don't necessarily want demolishers early on is that they are rather fragile, they're slow, and they give a lot of experience. By giving a lot of experience, you can actually end up um, falling behind even further as the Beastmaster and the Quill Beast are now making their way inside this base over here on the top right. All right, Archmage quickly using that Staff of Teleportation, and it will be able to get away. Where did it go? It went over here with the rest of the army and is now looking to back off as the Beastmaster comes over as well. Water Elemental coming in, and this could be a bit of a problem, but... Fly does not have any serious buildings under construction save for this one voodoo lounge, which is a big surprise. You would normally expect a spirit lodge and and a bestiary already down in play to try and get those raiders and those um, spirit walkers. Instead, he went for a faster shadow hunter, and that shadow hunter will be popping out here in just a moment. Blade Master, now sitting at level 2, does have boots of speed. Attempting to chase down another unit here and is the Shadow Hunter, yes, going to get a hex onto a poor footman. That footman is going to end up getting taken down rather easily. There it goes at the axe of a grunt. Meanwhile, back over here, another hex coming in and that very, very slow moving crab trying to get away. I don't believe it will, well, I do believe it will be able to get away unless the Blade Master is able to get up in front. And it looks like the Blade Master is doing exactly that. No, does not get in front, just actually staying behind it. Not quite sure what that was about, but the Blade Master does get his kill. Back inside, the Quill Beast are trying to disrupt, or this Quill Beast is trying to disrupt the construction of the Beast area, but not doing a good job, as it will end up falling at the hands of a Grunt. All right, Archmage now looking to run back over here. Is he going to perhaps pick up some other units? Blade Master is right there, and there is a quick Shadow Hunter Hex. Wow, Shadow Hunter Hex with that Blade Master. The Blade Master breaking Windwalk right there. And then right when the Archmage could have possibly used the Squirrel Town Portal Hex onto the hero long enough so that the Blade Master could finish it off. Level 2 Archmage has fallen, but the Shadow Hunter and the Blade Master are quite a ways out of position as the Beast Master now surrounded. Beast Master now surrounded for Tho, and this is definitely not a position you want to be in. If for by some chance fly is able to get both heroes and it looks like he will he's gonna have a very large window of opportunity oh the quill beast less though no, no, the troll headhunters what are you doing back off back off what are you doing troll headhunter the troll headhunter falls at the hands of a quill beast when it had no reason to die and a little bit of a misstep there fly cannot be making these very very small mistakes 31 supply compared to 30 over 36 but you got to remember the archmage and the beastmaster will be joining in on this fight meanwhile coming back around grunts shadow hunter now looking to perhaps take down the ogre warrior ogre magi creep camp at the marketplace and the blade master is going to going to finish this off here sitting at level two Hoping to finish down a, a troll trapper and the sorceress are now arriving. All right, sorceress now arrived. Blade Master not going to be able to get over there in time. And what is that? Oh, the troll trapper actually falls at the hands of the human player as the rest of the units are now trying to make their way over. All right, Archmage does arrive to the party, is sitting at level two, did get a little bit of experience. And now the Blade Master is in a bit of trouble. The Blade Master cannot afford to take all of this free damage here. Not quite sure why he. Oh, now Wind walks a little bit later than I would have liked after suffering a lot of damage. And now he breaks. Breaks Windwalk right there just to get to level 3. Alright, it looks as though the Blade Master may have a little bit of trouble. Is he going to be able to back off in time? Down to 139, 140 hit points. 73, 74, 75 mana. He does have enough for a Windwalk if things do get a little bit rough and tumble. But no, he is going to back off instead using Speed Scroll in order to get away that Blade Master. Even, um, e with, even with slow, does look slightly faster than all the other units. Actually, never mind. I take it back. The Blade Master is not slowed. Has Warsong Battle Drums and the Healing Salve only. Here is that tower attempt that I was mentioning earlier. And Tho is building this just in the absolute perfect spot. Tho, knowing that he wants to engage with these guard towers, but he also doesn't want to overcommit with them. He doesn't want to keep them within Orc Burrow distance, but he wants this one tower to be able to actually attack this bestiary. I believe this tower is going to be able to do it, but these two towers may just be just for cover. All right. Water Elemental is now being dropped into play. Blade Master now sitting at level 3, trying to fight back here. You can see that the uh, peasants are under massive repairs onto the guard tower. 
and this is actually buying a lot of time for the rest of the units to get in a lot of free damage all right one guard tower does get taken down a second scout tower now cancelled and there is one guard tower left and one guard tower left only all right, it is still getting focused down, and it looks as though, yes, it will get taken down here. The Beastmaster could easily clean up everything if he would wanted to try and go after these Spirit Walkers, and it looks like he is going to be doing that, going after now a last grunt, and all of a sudden, Tho, who focused on, who focused, or excuse me, Fly, who focused on taking down those Guard Towers, ended up taking a lot more damage from Tho's army because Tho's army was able to get in some free shot. Anytime you're able to get in free damage, that is always very strong. But the Blade Master now coming back the other way, taking down Sorceress after Sorceress. Are we perhaps going to get another ensnare onto a unit or two? That may be the question. If you can get more in more ensnares, there goes another unit there, and there goes another. So I believe that is going to be the third Blade Master in about 30 seconds, killing or sorry, the third Sorceress at the hands of the blade master in about 30 seconds as the priests are now arriving to the party as well Beastmaster now attempting to escape it looks like there is going to be an ensnare is this one Beastmaster going to fall yes it is invisible but it falls at the hands of a critical strike 138 point hit point critical strike right there in time that was a big move as the water elemental now slowly being digested in the stomach of a kodo All right, what is going to be the follow-up play? You can see Quill Beast now falling down. Kodo Beast now making its way back. Archmage trying to engage, taking down a couple of these gnolls here and looking to get to level 3. The Beastmaster is nowhere to be found yet. Going to get resurrected, but will not be resurrected in time to actually gain any experience off this creep camp as long as Tho keeps, his, um, keeps the pedal to the metal in terms of efficiency. Priest now giving lightning shield accidentally to all of his surrounding friends. They're taking a bit of damage. Fly now wandering back over here as we're looking at Fly perhaps setting up an, uh, setting up an additional base or trying to take out extra creeps. Beastmaster now sitting at level 1 gets to level 2 no problem. Archmage already at level 3 so it is a level 3 Archmage level 2 Beastmaster against a level 2 Shadow Hunter who I believe who is almost level 3 and a level 3 Blade Master who is almost level 4. Hero level I would say that Fly has a definite advantage and in terms of supply things are looking fairly even. The problem though is that Tho has been looking sharper then fly in all of the engagements save for that one retreat where he where fly took down four of those or three or four of those sorceress now are we going to see tho perhaps transition into something else or is he just going to continue with this caster army you can see double arcane sanctum and now starting to sit on a rather large um what pile of gold and the blade master is now seen at level four as well so level four blade master shadow hunter is just an illusion but is now sitting at level three all right shadow hunter now walks on by and it looks like he will get taken down as the blade master and the raiders now make their way off to the north perhaps they will be able to clear out this creep camp i do believe it has been all cleared out so we are now 13 minutes into this game with pretty much all of the base or all the expansions cleared out on the north side and now starting to encroach on the southern side once more. All right, we can see a voodoo lounge now being constructed inside or right outside the base of Tho. Location, location, location for that Blade Master to constantly heal and get plenty of mana. That could end up becoming a problem as the Shadow Hunter now sits at level 3 with most likely level 2 healing wave. Blade Master now attempting to engage down all these priests. It looks like the priest could be falling. There is Blizzard now coming down. However, with that many raiders, um, you gotta wonder when is the ensnare coming. Meanwhile, Arcane Vault is being constructed. There is another raining coming down on across all of those units, and the Archmage actually doing a fairly good job of constantly using that uh, blizzard to maximize its damage all right scroll town portal now back over here to the top right all the units are looking to retreat are they going to be able to fly away it looks like one spirit walker oh gets sniped down by a quill beast huge huge damage there as we're now looking into another engagement more blizzard now coming down it looks like one of those yes one of flies units is going to fall there meanwhile the militia are attempting to fight back 
and invisibility on an archmage who is currently ensnared can still be attacked how long will that ensnare last it lasts long enough as Tho loses his archmage here at the 14 minute 30 second mark all right blade master and shadow hunter ready to push in over here on the top left let's see if we're they're gonna go ahead and get taken out as well blade master down to 163 hit points and now healed back up starting to engage and it looks like Tho is gonna be in a bit of trouble now things are actually looking very good for fly if he can escape with that blade master blade master now down to 37 30 hit points and now the spell breakers are almost chasing him down there's the ensnare, but no, the Blade Master does fall at, uh, at the hands of the Spell Breakers. And the Spell Breaker is going to be the heroes in this matchup as the Shadow Hunter really can only sustain other units to fight well. He is not that strong of a hero by himself. I do not remember the if in under any circumstance shadow hunter was built as the primary hero solo shadow hunter i don't think that ever happens as we're looking at the kodo beast and now the spirit walker looking to get away grunt and raider now making their way over here to the top right you can see all the units are in full retreat once again you can see one raider trying to run away from these spell breakers spell breakers are just chasing up uh, unrelenting and you can see how much damage this raider has taken Already down to a sub 130 hit points and falling quickly as we're looking at the, at the sorceress and the priest now making their way in as well. All right, back over here. Raiders looking to take or Raiders are looking to capture a couple of these quill beasts. The quill beast, I believe, dies right there. Um, giving a little bit of experience once more. Beastmaster is nearby, seeing that level 4. So two level 4 heroes against a level 4 Shadow Hunter, and I believe a level 4 Blademaster if he's going to make his way back out anytime soon. All right, that Blademaster needs to get out, otherwise this Orc army does not have enough damage to really fight back against the amount of casters we're seeing. And also, because there is... Um, a shadow hunter instead of a torn chieftain you cannot really shockwave this army and it's very difficult to deal a lot of damage to this rather s a small aoe or a small um, hit point army that could easily get taken out by aoe all right staff of teleportation coming in from the archmage archmage now arrives just in time level four on the beastmaster level three on the archmage and they are still continuing this push and continuing to do a great job here Meanwhile, the Blade Master, I believe, is out. Yes, the Blade Master is out, sitting at level four, and it really needs to fight back here. All right, there is a Thunderhawk in position. It looks as though the Thunderhawk may get taken down. Blade Master is just straight up underneath, taking it down as well. As we're looking at a poor ogre who is attempting to um, just get out of here. Shadow Hunter now in position as well. There is a whole bunch of Blizzard once again as only a handful of Raiders and two heroes are currently with Fly's name. You can see Tho has a much larger army composition and with that, will he be able to simply attack move into the base in order to take the victory? All right, the Quill Beast now getting taken down here and Fly just enjoying the free experience so far, but not exactly sure what is happening there as now the Blade Master is attempting to get away. Blade Master in a very, very dangerous situation does get a healing wave, but he cannot go toe to toe with so many spell breakers. And now he is now out of mana, 143 hit points, 111 trying to get back. Is the Thunderhawk going to be able to do anything? There is a healing wave again. The Shadow Hunter uh, finishes off that one Thunderhawk there as the rest of the units are now still continuing to push on through. Shadow Hunter sitting at level 4. Beastmaster sitting at level 4. Archmage sitting at level 3. No level 2 Brilliant Aura as of yet. And it looks like Tho is just backing off for perhaps what may be the final blow. Blade Master relatively low on mana, very low on mana. Shadow Hunter kind of low as well. And it looks like that is going to be the end of it. With that Blade Master gone, that is the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one.